question is about exponential growth, and it tells us the following. The area in millimetre squared of a bacterial culture grown in milk T hours after midday is given by this formula here, where T is bigger than zero. Write down the area of the culture at midday. Now, very important here, at midday, your time is clearly zero. So you substitute T is zero in here. A is equal to 20 e to the 1.5 times zero, which is zero. e to the zero is one, so the answer is 20. Now, very important here, write your units. Okay, don't just write 20 down. You must write your units as well. You could be deducted a mark in the exam for not writing down your units there. So be very careful to write millimetres squared. It's not just 20, it's 20 millimetres squared. Now the next part says find the time at which the area of the culture is twice its area at midday. Now here's a very important point that students forget. Give your answer to the nearest minute. Now this formula here, T is in hours. So when you work out T, you will get how many hours it is. You need to convert that to minutes. And more than that, it's best practice to give it as a time after midday. Not just how many minutes, but what time that would be. So if it starts off at 20, when it's double, it would be 40. Okay, so we're trying to solve... We are letting A be 40 now, that's when it's double, and we are trying to find T. So we substitute this into the formula here, and we're solving 40 is equal to 20 e to the 1.5 T. Divide both sides by 20, and we will get 2 is equal to e to the 1.5 T. You take logarithms of both sides, so you would get ln2 is equal to 1.5 T. And then you would divide both sides by 1.5, and you would get t is equal to ln2 divided by 1.5. Now, you type that in your calculator. And you get yourself 0.462. You get something like uh, 0.462 going on. Now, that's hours. So, for minutes, you multiply by 60. And you get yourself to the nearest minute, that would be 28 minutes. You get actually 27.7, which rounds to 28. So the time is therefore 12.28pm. And underline your final answer, and you're done.